Well, another day, another warning about the risks artificial intelligence could pose to society. Top experts releasing a statement today calling for more regulation. Yahoo Finance's Dan Halley has that story. Dan, we're talking about sort of the same names that have been leading the way, like an open AI, like an alphabet. But, but my question is, what, why this letter, given that they're the ones that are building the software? Yeah, it's interesting. And this this letter uh, coming from the Center for AI Safety. And just to give you a rundown of some of the signatories, uh, we have Sam Altman uh, over at OpenAI. Uh, we have uh, folks from Microsoft. We have folks, uh, Kevin Scott, the CTO of Microsoft. We have folks uh, from Google, uh, Chief Scientific Officer at Microsoft, uh, people from kind of a, across the spectrum. You you see here everybody who who's kind of signing on to this. And, you know, this comes, uh, you know, just months after we saw uh, Future of Life Institute put out that call to put a six month pause on the training of AI systems more powerful than OpenAI's GPT-4. And these kinds of uh, pronouncements or, or uh, you know, uh, letters that we're seeing will likely be more common uh, as we move forward with generative AI. The, the reason uh, could be um, multifaceted. It could be because uh, of a general thought that this is truly uh, some kind of danger, uh, or it could be a call for more regulation. Um, some folks are saying that the businesses, the larger firms like OpenAI calling for regulation, would essentially allow uh, governments to favor them. Uh, since they're the larger organizations, smaller groups may have a harder time being able to get uh, regulations in place or, or abide by regulations. So there could be a number of reasons why we're starting to see these kind of percolate to the surface and, and this kind of pushback against AI from the, the very people that are putting it out there. And so, Dan, j just put all this into perspective for us, because I think a lot of people, when they read some of these headlines, when they read some of these warnings, especially from the people who are behind the tech, they get a little bit nervous. So how real are some of these threats that we have heard about just in terms of AI and what exactly that means for humanity going forward? Yeah, uh, Terminator's not going to come knocking on your door uh, and stealing your <laughs> sunglasses or whatever. You know, he does that in the movie. Uh, what this means is... It's just a focus on the, the I guess we could say, they, they say it themselves, this existential threat that could occur, right? Um, I think that the bigger problem, uh, and one that isn't pointed out here, this threat to humanity, is the, the real problems that exist today with AI, and those include uh, things like disinformation, misinformation. I mean, we just saw a, a few days ago where the market reacted to a photo uh, that was generative uh, AI image of a, an explosion by the Pentagon, completely fake, right? But that's an issue that we need to talk about with generative AI. There's also the fact that the models that uh, are uh, used to run these AI systems are inherently biased just because of the, the people who create them. Uh, it's something that we've seen in the past. So those are issues I think that are more important to discuss because it's happening already in the here and now that should be addressed. Um, you know, I can't say whether or not AI is going, is the same threat level as climate change or nuclear war. I, I, I'm, I'm a reporter, <laughs> but I do think that, you know, those are really the issues that people should be focusing on rather than these, you know, grandiose statements and having all these famous people sign on, you know, maybe just check it out and make sure that it's not able to put out photos or there's some regulations around uh, photos like what we saw uh, the, the past couple of weeks. Yeah, Dan, with tech as always, kind of the fear is that the regulation's not keeping up with the speed of the advancement. But we turn to you as the expert on AI. Dan Halley, as always, thanks so much for that.